the world needed a safer trampoline. Dr. Keith Alexander, inventor of the spring-free trampoline, wanted to bring the joy of trampolining to his daughter. His wife said they were too dangerous, so he invented his own. Spring-free trampoline is the world's safest trampoline, with no springs or hard edges. Now, parents can have peace of mind that their kids are outside jumping safely. To learn more, visit springfreetrampoline.com. New on Curiosity Stream. With superior armies comes superior weapons. How has innovation mechanized the battlefield? From bullets to battleships and everything in between, it's machinery of warfare. Plus, from the gross Ew. to the gourmet, mm. see how that in-flight meal lands on your tray table. On secrets of your airline food, it's all on Curiosity Stream. Annual plans are twenty dollars, just a dollar sixty-seven a month. Visit curiositystream.com. Hey, this is BJ. Thanks for listening to our show's podcast. If you're a fan of all things geeky, you should check out my other podcast, BJ Shea's Geek Nation. We have new episodes every day, and you can check it out at bjgeeknation.com. Your driver's license is important so you can get back and forth to work, get your kids to school, and back and forth to daycare. If your license has been suspended because you can't pay your tickets, you can't do any of those things. Let's talk about Chapter 13 bankruptcy. You may have heard the tickets cannot be discharged, but they can be dealt with in a Chapter 13 case. Why not come in for a free consultation? The chapter you choose will make all the difference to your getting back legally on the road. Let's design a plan to pay off your tickets and restore your license immediately. I'm attorney Travis Gagné. Please contact me today at ChooseTheRightChapter.com. That's ChooseTheRightChapter.com. 99.9 99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle. There's some dangerous ads that have been popping up online suggesting that putting apple cider vinegar on your junk will increase its size by 65%. I see wow. those ads all the time, man. Yeah, well, that's because they're mostly on adult websites, so... <laughs> I mean, I never see those ads. I don't know what you guys... Are so- yeah. Don't you guys see those ads, too? No. Oh. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> they fixed that in post there, Joe. We yeah. that part. Uh, one shows a cartoon of someone pouring the apple cider vinegar on themselves down below. And, uh, well, it's, you know. That's a tough conversation. If, like your yeah. significant other walks in and you're just <laughs> taking the apple cider vinegar, maybe standing in like a little kiddie pool. I don't know. And just dumping it on you. Yeah. Yeah. They're, uh, doctors are like, yeah, there's no evidence to support these claims. How did it even start? Yeah, I, I don't know. You know, they just said these ads started popping up, as it were. Big apple cider. Yeah, I, I don't know why someone would even think that that works. Like, what well, what's it about apple cider that, you know, would you, that all of a sudden make that part of your anatomy grow? It's like, magical. You, Haven't you heard? You're supposed to take a shot of it every day. So yeah, at that point, there's just magical properties about it. You make It makes you healthy. Yeah. You lose weight. It does everything for you. Everything. It cleans yeah. the house. Yeah. It increases your junk size. The problem is yeah. that you have to butt chug it. That's why people are doing uh, it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Butt chug it. oh yeah. Yes. Well, it can burn your skin, it can cause an infection, and allow bacteria to enter your bloodstream. So congratulations. That's why I use the gummies. Uh, oh, yeah, the you gummies butt the gummies? Yeah, man. Yeah. Oh, all right. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know why, you know, like, you know, <laughs> vinegar, people would think that that's really good to rub all over yeah, your you skin. Vicky, show them the, yeah. the ad picture, because it's the funniest thing ever. It's, it's a really disturbing cartoon, but it says, this weird trick makes any wiener oh, increase by God. 65%. Wow, that is a gigantic... Um, yeah. Oh, oh. Yeah. There's a few different ones. Don't Whoa! do that. Don't do oh, that. And, and you jokingly having... said butt stuff. Oh, yeah. wow. And they're saying, uh, yeah, so I mean, they, oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. You weren't wrong, Steve. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, they're they're soaking <laughs> ah! your skin and then telling you to put it in the old backside. Boing! And then all of a sudden, things happen. <laughs> Where did they find the animator for this? Was it like on like one of those, like the, the Fiverr site? Oh, or, yeah, right. Yeah. You know, like, yeah. or Wish, like. How, how do you hit somebody up and say, hey, we have a job for you. I'm going to commission you to be an animator for something. Like, awesome. Like, we need you to animate somebody putting their twig in a bottle of apple cider vinegar. So here's the thing. All right, yeah. I'll be on it. How, when's the yeah. deadline? Yeah, right? Yeah. I mean, the thing is this. You have to know this about men because they had to basically warn us. Okay, somebody had to do a story saying, please yeah. don't do this because men so much want their junk to be bigger. Uh, that's a thing that's been going on. For, I don't know how long, how long we've we been men. Um, and, you know, and I just tell everybody that's how stupid we are. We, that, that's the only thing that matters to us is we think if our junk is really big, we are going to have a great life because that's because if it's not, apparently we need to do stuff like this. 
Right. It, it, it's such a weird thing. I don't know why that's always ha- like that's been a thing in the back of people's mind. Because I don't think ever you're on a date with somebody and you're getting to know them. You're never just like, hey, so let's just cut to the chase. What are you doing down there? Do you need apple cider vinegar or not? Yeah, I mean, I wonder. I, I wonder if it's going to get to that, though, Steve. I mean, you know, you're right. And in our time, that no one would ever do that. But, Mike, I mean, I, I mean, if, until it comes to something like that, why would you? But yet men do it. They're just like, I, I need it. I want it. Uh, and, now, and I'm going to do this ad. How soon until they put that as a warning label in the apple cider vinegar bottles? Like, hey, please do not oh, insert yeah. this in yeah. somewhere. Do not pour this on something. Like, whenever you see a stupid warning on a on a product, you realize, like, Somebody yep. did this. There was probably a lawsuit, and they had to put this on there to protect their ass for the future. Oh, I bet it's on there now. <laughs> I mean, really? Please You're don't pour this right. on your wiener. Yeah, don't, don't, <laughs> it, or don't, don't do what this person did and have intimate relationships with the bottle. I mean, or don't get a, a woman's product and uh, and soak it in apple cider and then insert it. Don't do that. But that one serves a different purpose. It didn't say it was going to. It, it just said it was going to be like a, a form of Viagra for you. Oh, I thought well, it made it look very, very. Light. I thought it made it grow because it looked. I mean, the picture well, I saw. Of course, it's a I mean, it, it made, but shower. I mean, it was like impressive. <laughs> it looked like he was toting nothing. You're saying it was just Viagra. Well, all right then. I didn't realize that. Well, because like if you read the, the <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I, I okay, read the so thing. I didn't the read ads. That. I mean, you got to read the 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 blurb on it, BG. You don't just look at the picture. So the first one, when you pour it on a certain something, it says this weird trick will make a something increase size by sixty five percent. Oh, okay. Then the next one was. Okay, now we're going to use the bottle as a certain, I don't know. Like and what is, yeah, yeah, and what is, yeah, like, like a flashlight. Yeah, you can, yeah, were. exactly. This weird trick will make also make things increase by sixty five percent. Okay, so and the final right. one said this weird, odd, simple trick makes does Viagra basically. Oh, so that's supposed. Oh my god! And then so it goes t- boom. Once you, oh, oh yeah, boing. I mean, putting like a cider vinegar in that part of your body. How do they not think that is going to be just wrecking house? Now, is that I a mean, deal breaker, though? Like, they, Vicky, you're in the throes of passion. The guy's like, hey, before we start, let me go get some protection. Also, do you happen to have any apple cider vinegar? It's like, bro, I feel like guys need to learn that it's not the size of the boat. It's the motion of the ocean. It very much is. Because just because you have the picture and these ads, if somebody already has that naturally, doesn't mean they're good at it. I've been with dudes that, you know, are toting what you think gods would have and very disappointing. So, yeah, I would be like, bro, don't, no, we're, we're done here. How much do you think sales of uh, apple cider vinegar are going to go up after people hearing this story? I, yeah. Even though, Even we're though telling, it's saying yeah. don't, yeah. yeah. And we're saying, right. saying don't, they're going to, well, it's got to be true. Those guys <laughs> just don't know. Uh, or, or guys can be desperate enough, they'll try anything. It's just that sad that, you know, that that can be advertised on a site. You know what I mean? And nobody's policing the site at all. It's like, here's an ad, and there it is. And but does anyone really believe it? Like, I'm, yeah. I, I go on, like, these, you see these certain websites, and they have all these ads. Never once did I think, I'm going to click on one of those ads. I just assume that these are just all over-the-top stupidity. They're hot singles in your area. Right. Any of these things. Like, this will maximize your performance. No, it won't. Like, you're just... Well, they continue to put these ads up there. So, yeah. I guess your question is this, Steve. No, you're I right. I mean, do we need to protect people that just aren't bright enough to know they're not true? Because everybody can fall for anything. I mean, I've fallen for different kinds of stuff. You know, yeah. stupid jokes. And I'm like, oh, my gosh. All right, I'm an idiot. But I, there is an old wives tale or folks tale that says that if you drink apple cider vinegar, it will help with, you know, erectile dysfunction. Oh, which really? There has been no studies proving that oh. or that it does or doesn't. How did this even happen with this apple cider vinegar thing? Like one day it became like everything the the of uh, the utmost importance that we needed. Yeah. To, but like the day before that, never even heard of apple cider. Some, vinegar. Somebody had an overstock on apple cider vinegar, right. didn't know what the hell to do with it and decided to start making Internet memes. They probably oh, yeah. found like a social media influencer and said, hey, we need to sell these stupid apple cider vinegars. No one's buying them. I'll give you a cut. Welcome. Yeah. yeah welcome to Madison Avenue, because as much as I want to sit here and go, God, those people that we click on those ads are stupid. I bet every single one of us has something we're doing right now that is not true, but we were sold this at a very whatever. We've been doing it for years, and we're idiots. And we would be, we would swear, oh no, you've got to do whatever it is we're doing. And someone will come along, and go, you know, you don't have to do that. You're an idiot, and you're you're being you're you're paying for that. Or you're doing that. You don't have to do it. And we'll fight to the death and go, no, it has to be done. 
Because nobody wants to look like an idiot. So there's somebody who's going to sit there and just basically continue pouring apple cider on their unit, telling you that it's getting bigger. You guys are morons. Sometimes they only use apple cider vinegar when they smoke my meat. That's what we're talking about, yeah. sir. Yeah. Yeah. I think they're referring to like a Traeger. Yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Smoke uh, that meat with your apple yeah. cider vinegar. It makes it a little uh, juicier. Yeah, the same yeah. stuff that you put on your package on your food? Yeah. That sounds gross. <laughs> because if that texture can smoke his own meat in any other way, they're very impressive. That's all I'm going to say. That's all we can say there. Hey, uh, there's a new survey out. It turns out that uh, 16% of people say they have watched a show on their phone during a wedding. And, and St- Steve, I know you. I know that you know you 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 go to church from time to time. Have you caught anybody doing that, uh, uh, watching their phone while like a sermon's being given? Uh, I want, I, uh, that seems like the place that no one should ever do that. I've seen plenty of people playing on their phones, like playing games, like solitaire. Oh, really? So that's just yeah, that's one, one of my buddies. Like he's a couple rows in front of us, and it, as soon as everything starts. But the beauty is, and like. I luck, I, I, my wife is like on me like a hawk, so like I wouldn't be able to pull this off. Although sometimes it's like we have a guest speaker, and sometimes these guest speakers are just like snooze city. So I lo- I'll look at my wife and go, "Listen, I'm playing on my phone or I'm falling asleep. Which would you prefer?" And she says, "Play on your phone." Because <laughs> like I I, I I I know I'm not because I hate when like someone goes up there and just reads. Like I don't want to yeah. watch some, like I don't want to read. I don't want to watch someone read. Like this is not what I'm here for. Like speak from the heart. And so I'll just start playing on my phone for that reason. But there's a couple people, and they always time it, and it's brilliant because they'll say, okay, take out your Bibles. And some people don't take out their Bibles because now you have an app. So a lot of people pull out their phones, and that's how they, they check. Oh. So when everyone's pulling out their phones, there's Johnny two rows in front of us pulling out his phone and going straight to solitaire. And I'm like, my man. It's wow. Brilliant. That's brilliant. Yeah. Oh, man. I never even thought that they, that, that tech would save you like that. So I'm going to start doing Sonic the Hedgehog. Get my uh, money's worth. Yeah, go right. Do it. Yeah, finally get that app going. Finally, yeah. So if people are doing this, man. I mean, uh, during a wedding, I think that would also be like, you know, really? But, you know, a lot of those weddings can be long and boring, too, you know, at the service. I did it once at a wedding, and it was because there was a Seahawks game. Oh. And so, oh, yeah. like, yeah. it was a few of us that you could tell. And it was, I, I think they were playing the Colts, and they came from behind. It was a few years ago. And... There were moments during the wedding where you could see a few dudes and that even like their wives too or whoever they're with just kind of like, yeah, kind of doing like that, that fist pump and not oh, like yeah. wanting to like scream something cool is happening, but knowing that they can't. And then as soon as the wedding ended, like the ceremony part, somebody said, does anyone know the Seahawks score? And a few of us without missing a beat, it's 24, 21. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh crap, we're busted. Well, how do you know that? Sold out. Ah, uh, nice test. They caught you. But who has a wedding on the Seahawks game? That's a very good point. These people, I mean, uh, 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 that, that just uh, the ultimate in not uh, planning. Right? Yeah. 31% of people say that they've, uh, I should say, uh, about one in five, rather, have watched a show uh, or a movie at a bar, and 31% have watched something in their car. I hope the car's not moving. I mean, it's, you know, if you can listen to a YouTube video, that's fine. Okay. Even though the video's there, I mean, a lot of that stuff is meant to be listened to anyway. Because, like I mentioned, I, every morning I watch NHL Tonight when I drive in. I don't watch it. I just listen to the. To, yeah. the, to, to the people talking about what's going on in the world of the NHL because I, I, write, I like what they do and it's instantaneous as opposed to waiting for like a certain podcast that talks about hockey. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense to me, you know. And I would, sh- and I, for me, I, will, I usually shut the screen off if I'm doing something like that just to make sure that I can't get distracted by the video. Uh, or I'll just put the phone, like, I'll place it so that the screen's not up. You know what I mean? So, yeah. like, because if I shut the screen off, then the audio cuts out. Oh, that sucks. That's oh. What's up, man? Yeah, I hate I, I hate I hate programs like that that do that. I wanted to stay on. <laughs> There's a third of people that are Vickies. They're uh, double screeners. All the time. Yeah. Sometimes triple. Dude, my wife gives me a hard time sometimes. Like, are you watching wrestling on your phone? I'm like, yes. She's like, are you also watching wrestling on television? Yes. I have SmackDown on, and I'm watching like an indie show on my phone because I wanted to see my friend wrestle. And I'm like, but, but you know, while he wasn't wrestling, I was waiting for him. I was like watching what was going on on SmackDown. <laughs> It's like, that's, that's that amazing. Makes sense. Yeah. Do you guys that ever like, pull out your phone amazing. and watch like something like like for like I wouldn't have to drive my car off to get a new battery, so I went across the street and got some teriyaki at this place. Nice. Yeah. But I was sitting by myself, so I'm like, well, when in Rome, I'd pull out my phone. I was just watching YouTube videos. There was no one around me, so I wasn't like annoying anybody. 
But I was like, I have nothing else to do. Otherwise, I'm just going to sit here staring at my food. I'd rather watch that's the why, show. Uh, that's why I always bring my earbuds because you never know when I'm going to be in a situation where mm-hmm. I've got some time to kill and I want to watch something. But I'm half deaf, so Steve, there's no way I could ever listen to my phone without annoying somebody because I need it up at such a high volume. But if there's no one in the in the restaurant at the time, so it's like I don't think the employees care. Oh well, yeah. If there's nobody there, but even still, I bet I, I with my decibel level, okay. I would annoy. I would annoy people at the restaurant across the street. They'd be like, "Who is that old man who who needs it up at four million degrees or four million decibels or degrees, whatever?" So, sometimes I watch Yankee games during church using the MLB TV app. Oh yeah, that's pretty brilliant. <laughs> yeah, that's brilliant. I would be doing that. I, I would be watching Yankee games, of course. Uh, but yeah, I would be. I, I'd be doing that. That's why I'd be kicked out of church because I, you know, I. I do find parts of it to be like, yeah, especially like you said, there's a guest speaker. It's like, okay, you know what, man, you put some put some heart into it, son. Yeah, that's always yeah. my moment where it's like, who's speaking today? Oh, it's a guest speaker. Son of a... Uh, here we go. Okay. All right, time All to get right. out. Sonic. Can, can we swing and get a coffee first? <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> yeah, really. And some popcorn. <laughs> my wife uh, does bring me candy. Yeah, well, she knows. She has like little fucking candies for me. Like when she's, she'll see me like, Ugh. and then the hand comes out and there's like, you know, Sour Patch Kids. Oh, she yeah. was totally prepared for Tatum by just being around you. Oh, yes. yes. Oh, <laughs> always yeah. prepared. Yeah, well, she's got it. But that diaper bag doesn't just have stuff for Tatum. No, right. it doesn't. Married Apple to a man child. <laughs> yeah. That's the best though now. Like if things get a little boring because like Tatum gets a little like fidgety. And I'm like, don't worry, babe. I got her. I'll just take her outside to go walk around. <laughs> oh, there's a win right there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and she knows what's up. Don't worry. I got her. Oh, yeah. You're my hero, Steve. <laughs> and then I conveniently walk back in with like three minutes left. Yep. Yeah. She's calmed down finally. Thank We're good. goodness. What I missed. Amen. Oh, yeah. All right. Let's, go. <laughs> let's get out of here. 25% of people have actually canceled a date for a pretty ridiculous reason. And we're wondering, would you cancel for this reason? I'll tell you what it is. At 819 on The Rock. BJ and Migs. Mornings on The Rock. 99.9 KISW. Your kids will be saying, At least five more minutes. I can't believe I did that. (laughs) And, Look how high I can bounce. Spring Free is the world's safest trampoline. The place where stories are made. The innovative design boasts no springs, so you know you're safe. Go ahead and create the greatest stories you'll tell your friends. We're back in stock. Get it while you can. To learn more about the world's safest trampoline, visit springfreetrampoline.com. Mom, come watch us! New on Curiosity Stream. Are we close to building machines that are almost human? And can new technology give us superpowers? Find out on Super Sapiens. And... In 1919, a British composer wrote the longest and most complex symphony in history. Conductors tried to perform it, but failed declaring it cursed. Now a group of musicians will attempt the impossible, if they dare, on Curse of the Gothic Symphony. Watch now on CuriosityStream. Annual plans are $20, just $1.67 a month. Visit CuriosityStream.com. This podcast is brought to you by the Washington State Department of Health. As we continue to listen, learn, and grow, we are amplifying black voices and perspectives in an effort to start a new COVID-19 vaccine conversation. We're sharing stories intended to help us navigate this unprecedented time together and to co-create solutions in support of the black community. Hear these stories at WeConsiderWA.org. $20 million, $19 million, $6 million. These are all awards recovered for clients of Phillips Law Firm. To win big, you have to fight big. And Phillips Law has been fighting the too-big-to-fail insurance industry for decades. Not every case will have a multi-million dollar outcome, but Phillips Law will fight just as hard to recover the outcome you deserve. If you or a loved one has been injured in a car accident or on the job, call or click today at 1-800-JUSTICE or visit justiceforyou.com. 99.9 99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle. A new poll found that 25% of us, one in four people, have canceled a date over a pimple at least once in their life. I wonder how many of these, you know, what, what the breakout is. Hey, so what I did there? Uh, <laughs> break between men and women. I wonder what that is. Ooh. I don't I know. People get really good. insecure about acne on both ends, I feel. Yeah, so you think it could be 50-50? No, I, 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 th- I think it would lean more towards women breaking the date than the guy, but I, I don't think it's going to be like a huge like a huge difference between the two. I don't think it's like an 80-20 split. 
Yes. Uh, also, the same amount of people, one in four people have missed a party or a gathering uh, because of acne. Uh, school, which I can understand if you really got a massive breakout. That was that was like one of the biggest tragedies you had as a, ch- as, a as a teenager in high school was just the acne. It was a beating. Did you guys get hit bad with it? Anyone I did, on? yeah. You did? Oh, uh, yeah. You did as well? I got it a little bit, but I was lucky. My brother got it bad. Like, he had to go to a dermatologist for it. He had, oh, mostly wow. had it on his chest. Like, oh, I guess he had it pretty bad on there, but also on his face. But I dodged the bullet big time. Yeah, I, I was, think I was already dealt a bad hand with how I looked that I think, like, <laughs> like oh, nature just, it, it, I don't know what, but something. We don't was, need to pile on him Yeah, on this my one. body was just like, we don't need to do this to him. He's already. <laughs> it's too much. It's not fair. You're going to send him over the edge. How about uh, 16% have taken a day off of work? That's over a zit? acne. I mean, unless you're serving people and your acne is like dripping into their food, I don't see why it matters. <laughs> That's the wow. most disgusting visual I've ever heard. Oh, thank you. <sighs> I'm glad I could bring it up for you. Hey, happy breakfast, everybody. I mean, seriously though, but what, what, who cares? Who cares what you look like at work? Unless you have, I don't know, unless you're working at a cosmetics counter, I don't know. Why would? Who cares? If you're working at a cosmetics counter, you could probably put makeup on to hide it. Yeah, it's a good point. Although sometimes putting makeup on it makes it worse. Yeah. Oh, because it just, it's not good for the skin. It, I mean, if you're because a lot of times a lot of uh, breakouts is just clogged pores or there's just di- something in there and you're just putting more crap in there. Yeah, even so, though you're trying to hide it. It's yep. a tough chicken of the egg kind of you know. It's a mm-hmm. vicious circle because you don't want to look like your face is horrible. So yet you're making your face more horrible. It's a tough one. Yeah. Someone said I once uh, canceled the date because I needed to take a solid bowel movement. <laughs> What? Yeah, they said I canceled a date in favor of a good bowel movement. I have left literally uh, in the middle of a date because of issues. Well, Did that you tell I can them? Uh, I texted them as I was walking away. So you left like a restaurant? Uh, it was actually at, oh, I think, maybe like a Seahawks pregame. And it was, I had garlic fries, and I had a lot of garlic fries, and then it was just like, no, my stomach is uh, revolting against me right now. I need to go. Did you guys go together? No. Okay. We we ended up uh, showing up uh, uh, different you know different cars and stuff like that. So, no, it was just like, I, I have to go. I'm sorry. Was it like a group day where there was other people she could hang with? Uh, no. Wow. wow. <laughs> And you didn't think you could like just you know like say hey can you wait I'm gonna I, I'm having an issue but I'll be back you felt like no this was one of those things where this is going it was going to be an issue for the rest of the night I really oh, felt yeah. that I know my body enough to know that yeah. this was not going to be a fun time for anyone involved and I really didn't want to hang out inside of a, a stadium bathroom for the next two two and a half three hours okay oh, was yeah. there a second date. <laughs> I uh, did not really oh yeah was she mad at you. I don't think she was mad. She didn't say she was mad, but we didn't really do a lot of stuff afterwards. So it was just like she maybe probably thought it was just a crappy excuse, but it really it was it was it legit. Really was. Yeah. It was a crappy excuse. Yeah, it was the crappiest yeah. excuse. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So if you're a teenager, you remember the stuff that used to really make you feel insecure? Acne, of course, is one of them. Okay, I'm trying to think of what else. Bad haircut. Bad hair. Uh, yeah, there ooh. was one time when I went to uh, get a haircut, and they just messed it up. And I was like, I didn't want to yeah. go to school. And I mean, I was wow, probably, yeah. I was in middle school. Like it was, it was just one of those like. And it was so funny because I remember my mom was like, just she made me go, and no one even noticed. No. But it was just this thing in my head of like everyone's gonna make fun of me, and it, no one did. Yeah, that's not on the list. So uh, at least Ooh. in the top four, anyway. But I imagine, I imagine your hair's got to be. See, I never had a bad haircut. My mullets were fantastic and old. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. there, there, there was something that just like they should be in a museum. That's how good they were. BJ. <laughs> I never. Uh, I apparently never cared. There, I, I don't know if I, I think I don't know if we posted it before or not, but in a TBT photo. But I, I have a picture of me in the in the high school yearbook, and my hair is going in every possible direction. I look like Doc Brown. It is just nuts. <laughs> Because right. uh, my, my, my Greg Brady perm was growing out, and so it just, <laughs> and I just couldn't get it to do anything, but I apparently didn't care. <laughs> you know, I just looked like a mad scientist. I think for me, it was the, the big ass teeth. Because as a kid, like, my, my mouth was like fully grown before the rest of my face. Oh, so my man. lips and my teeth, I mean, still big as they are, but like at the time, I felt like I had like a, like almost like a tiny head with a giant mouth. And it was just, oh, yeah, I was yeah. so insecure about that. Yeah, you got the you can you can have that sometimes. Uh, on the list is crooked teeth and braces, but yeah, teeth is at least on the list. Uh, More yeah. for me though, the lips were the bigger thing. Like now, like uh, like that's something I like. People be like, oh, the, it, it's something you want, like like plumper lips. But at the time, as a guy, I would walk around and like kind of like 
suck my lips in. So I like. Oh really? Oh, so you so you didn't look irresistible? <laughs> so it would make me look like I have little like smaller <laughs> lips. <laughs> and so like oh, whenever wow. I had to take like my like high school pictures, I would like, all right, and they like smile. I'm like can't smile like this. So it was like it just looks so stupid. Yeah. I have, I have a few pictures like a high school ID. I remember. And uh, you just see me just like curling my lips in and like looking like a doofus. <laughs> Please tell me you have those somewhere. I do. I Where gotta find them? it. Oh, that would be amazing. Yeah. I'm I got, excited for I that. Got a, one. I, I know. I think I eventually did throw away my high school ID card, but I'm pretty sure I took a picture of it. I just gotta, I don't know where it is, but it's somewhere. And it's bad. And I have a full mullet, spiky mullet. Oh, yeah. Hair in the back. Love and I'm sweet. sucking in my lips. I was like, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I want to look cool in high school so I don't want people to see my plump lips. <laughs> wow. That's amazing. Yeah. Oh, for me, it was totally being a fatty fat. That's number one on the list. Yeah. The weight. Weight was an issue. Oh, man. It hit me hard, too, because I was in, oh, gosh, it was second grade, and I'll never forget it, because they decided to, it was like a health sort of like, uh, you know, teaching kids about their bodies and stuff, so they had everyone come up to the front and be weighed on a scale, and I was by far and away the fattest, and all the kids went, as soon as I stepped on the scale and they said how much I weighed, everyone went, oh, and that just, that, oh, well, that obviously it. it stuck with me oh, for a while. That's right. 35 some odd years now. Yeah. Damn, dude. That's a beating. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, it's probably not a good idea to be able to, you know, in front of a bunch of front of kids. Just, you know, you, you, you give somebody a reason to be ridiculed. Yeah, yeah exactly. You know. Are wow. clothes on the list? Uh, clothes are not on the list. Mine, number two, was, uh, 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 I should say number three, wearing glasses. That always bothered uh, me growing up. I never had to wear would, glasses. Uh, Until I got older. So it was like, it was never one of those things that really got to me. Since I was four, I wore glasses. So I never heard the end of it. You know, a little kid with glasses, it's very, it's very rarely seen a little kid with glasses. And I had them. And then in, you know, and it's funny because now all the cool, like, lenses, like all the frames that they, like, you're wearing, Danny, and, uh, and Vicky's wearing, those were lame. Like, if Mm -hmm. you had a hard shell lens or a plastic lens and it was like, you know, black or in any kind of color at all, you wanted the wire frames that was huge in the 70s wire frames but my father was like you'll break those you run around and do stupid stuff and you're gonna break them because they're they're quite fragile and he would never get them for me and he always got me the plastic frames and no matter what they gave me they never looked as good as the wire frames and so i was always self-conscious of my glasses oh, the funny. entire time the reason I asked about clothes was because my mom used to, she couldn't afford like the the Nike and the Adidas and stuff like that. So she would always go to like, you know, the off brand stores that had the, the Nike with a Y or whatever, but they had like the, the fake ones. And so I was always like self-conscious about that because I couldn't have the nice brands of stuff where all my friends did. How cool would that be today, though, to just wear nothing but knockoff stuff? <laughs> I mean, really, because I think that would be such a cool look. People go, what the hell is that? Johnny Nike knockoff. Will, why? <laughs> yeah, Johnny knockoff would be so awesome. Hello, I'm Johnny knockoff, and welcome yeah, to Jackass. I mean, that was, if that was everything you had? Jack Butt, because it's a knockoff. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. How cool would that be? Oh, that's great. Yeah, so uh, clothes not on the list. Uh, just the weight, the acne, wearing glasses, crooked teeth, uh, or braces. That's the top four. But, yeah, I imagine that there's a top ten. Your hair and clothes are going to be in there. Hair was, yeah, that was always a, it was like, if you did not have, like, the perfectly, like, your hair wasn't looking right, I would be so, because I couldn't wear a hat in our high school. Yeah, no. Because it was a uh, Catholic high school, so you could, you know, you, you couldn't get away with wearing a hat. I don't even know if you could wear a hat in public school. Mm-hmm. Not in ours, we could. No, no, no you not. weren't allowed yeah. to, no. Ours either, nope. And as much as you want to complain about your hair... Uh, one of my, one of my classmates in the, in the seventies, and this was before being bald was cool at all, was going bald. He looked like Friar Tuck. And, oh you know, no, at what age? He's 17 years old. Oh, this poor geez. dude. I mean, I'm sure this guy went through maturity more than, you know, quicker than anybody else. Uh, but man, this also happened. It was, yeah. you know, it was such a beating where he was literally looking like somebody's dad at, at 17 years old. I want the kid, the first kid that could rock a mustache. That kid was cool in high school. <laughs> oh, yeah. It was always the patchiest, skinniest little thing. It was so ratty looking. Ugh. But it was cool. It's it was like, like, man, you have a mustache. Is that a real mustache or did you drink some chocolate milk? Like, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> I had a buddy who was literally our school mascot because he had a full beard at like 16. Like, <laughs> mammoth beard. And our, va- our, our, our mascot was the Viking. So it worked perfectly. He was just this big, hairy, gigantic dude. We had one kid, like, he was, like, probably, like, the first to have hair on his legs. 
And like he had such a weird flex about it. Like he would always pull his pants up in class, like <laughs> like the legs of his pants, and just kind of wow. like put his foot up on like the desk, like check out my hair and my legs. <laughs> and we're all like, okay. Did he do that with his armpits too? What's going on? I he, hope with not other places. Maybe would have, but it was a lot easier. <laughs> yeah, right. Weird flex. <laughs> check out my hair. <laughs> yeah. Check out. Okay. I don't think I want to, sir. Thank you. But looking back on it, it's like eventually we all are going to catch up and get hair on our bodies. Like it's such a funny flex to have. Like I got hair before the rest of you. That was a big one, though, dude. Mm-hmm. You know, if you were in the showers, man, and 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 you were the only one that wasn't a gorilla down there, you felt you felt bad because it was always like, oh, I guess you haven't grown up yet. You know, your blanks haven't dropped. I mean, all those you're not mature lines because yeah. you're just a lay bloomer, if it, as it were. See, I didn't want hair, and I remember when I started getting hair, my mom didn't have any kind of conversation with me about it. Right. So I was like, Mom, is this normal? And she's like, Well, you'd be pretty weird if you weren't. Or if it wasn't normal, and I was like, that was the talk that I got. And I was Thanks, like, Mom. Wait, now am I weird? Yeah. yeah that's the first thing heck? I would think. Wait. What are you talking about? So I've been life? weird up until now? Yeah. yeah. Did my mom just call me weird? Yeah. She yeah. Did. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> It's nice to know that moms can be as awkward with boys about that kind of world as, as dads can be with their daughters. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so you know what? Good job. <laughs> Yesterday, Steve, he did get this one right. What is the capital of Germany? <laughs> Germany City? No. <laughs> Berlin? Yes. Oh. Oh, hey. Look at you. Ooh. You got city right. Good job, buddy. Thank you. You want a shot at BD Steve? You got it. 206-421-ROCK. We'll play Beat Migs at 848 on The Rock. Today's podcast was brought to you by Travis Gagne, bankruptcy attorney. He's here right now and has agreed to answer more of your questions about bankruptcy. Here's a question from a listener. Uh, my house is currently in foreclosure. I've stopped making payments. What can I do to save my house? If you're already in foreclosure behind on your mortgage, you can stop the foreclosure by filing a bankruptcy. There's different types of bankruptcy. Chapter 13 can help you catch up on your house payments if you're behind. It would mean that you'd have to start making your house payments again and catch up on the amount that you're behind over five years. You could also take off or strip off your second mortgage, which would help you to reduce your housing payment every month, especially once you're done with the plan and done catching up on your first mortgage. We could also try to buy you some time in the more in the in by filing a Chapter 13 case. Filing a Chapter 13 would definitely stop your foreclosure. Thanks, Travis. If you have more questions about bankruptcy, you can reach out to Travis anytime at choosetherightchapter.com. That's choosetherightchapter.com. And thanks for listening. Want to create a lifetime of memories this spring? Do you remember the joy of jumping as a child? If only there was a way your own kids could experience that same joy safely. Spring Free Trampoline has been engineered to eliminate 90% of product-related injuries. The Spring Free design boasts no springs and a flexible enclosure and proudly offers a 10-year warranty. That's peace of mind. Lock in your ultimate backyard safe space before summer arrives. Visit springfreetrampoline.com. New on Curiosity Stream. With superior armies comes superior weapons. How has innovation mechanized the battlefield? From bullets to battleships and everything in between, it's machinery of warfare. Plus, from the gross to the gourmet, Mm. see how that in-flight meal lands on your tray table. On secrets of your airline food, it's all on Curiosity Stream. Annual plans are $20, just $1.67 a month. Visit CuriosityStream.com. $20 million, $19 million, $6 million. These are all awards recovered for clients of Phillips Law Firm. To win big, you have to fight big. And Phillips Law has been fighting the too-big-to-fail insurance industry for decades. Not every case will have a multi-million dollar outcome, but Phillips Law will fight just as hard to recover the outcome you deserve. If you or a loved one has been injured in a car accident or on the job, call or click today at 1-800-JUSTICE or visit justiceforyou.com.